Mexico City is the largest city in North America and it is the largest Spanish speaking city in the entire world. This place is massive. When you get an aerial shot of this city just landing into the place, it just looks like the city never ends. But when you're actually in the thick of it, in the middle of the city, it doesn't actually feel that big. We're wrapping up a month stay here in Mexico City and we want to share with you guys our thoughts, impressions and experiences of this city. Also, as we continue our travels, we're trying to answer a big question. Would we live here? Would we make Mexico City our home base outside of the United States? Additionally, with everything that we're going to share, we want to hear from you guys if you would consider moving to Mexico City. And if you are a local, let us know what we got completely wrong, what we missed, and just call us out. As a gringo who grew up in Dallas, Texas, I've always thought that Mexico City was too big. It's got to be too dangerous. But after visiting here for an entire month, let's see how that opinion has changed. The overall feel and uniqueness of Mexico City is that it's a massive place. It is such a large city. However, the pace does not feel as fast as many other large cities. Yeah, we've been to many other large cities like Bogota, Colombia, where we've spent a lot of time and people aren't rushing around like you see in the city center like you normally normally do, such as like you, you just think of like New York City, right? People are just moving fast, but here people are more at ease and it's just more chill for a large city and I've found that very surprising. Length of time, location, and time of year. We came to Mexico City at the end of October for Dia de los Muertos. We also got to see Desfile de Catrinas, and there were so much festivities going on, it kind of just blew our minds. It was also a special time of year for us because our anniversary is on November 9th, so we celebrated. This was a month of celebration, and we are very, very happy that we celebrated it here in Mexico City. Instead of staying in the more popular areas like Polanco, Condesa, or Roma, we chose to stay south of those colonies and we stayed in Navarte Poniente, just a block away from Parque Delta. We chose this location mainly because it was more budget friendly and it was also very conveniently located to close to grocery stores and gyms. We ended up really enjoying this area because it had more of a local feel and less foreigners walking around like you will see in the Roma area and also in Polanco. We especially noticed this when we went to restaurants like La Flamita and Oasis too. And we cannot emphasize this enough. We love areas that are very functional, very close to grocery stores. I mean, we're talking about when you leave your apartment building, you just walk one, two, maybe three blocks and boom, there's a grocery store, there's a pharmacy. There's a market. There's a ton of different restaurants for you to eat at. That is what we look forward to and what we love about big cities. And this just kind of made Mexico City a little special in our hearts. Weather. What Whitney and I look for is cooler weather. And that's exactly what Mexico has. We're talking about the low might hit like 50 and midday it might hit 75 or 80. And that's exactly what we experienced in the month of October and November while we stayed here. We think this is absolutely perfect weather, it wasn't too windy. Uh, I think this is making me kind of fall in love with the city a little bit more. We're not big fans of tropical weather, so anything hotter than this, we're just like, we feel like we're running the AC nonstop, but this is a place you don't need to own AC. You don't need to own AC in, in uh, Mexico City. You just open the windows, let the cool air come in, and then it feels perfect. What we loved about this city, so Johnny just talked about the weather, Obviously, we love the weather, but we also love things like the walkability of this city. Yeah, walkability is super important to me. It's a way that I decompress, it's a way that I detox, it's a way that I have a, like, I find a peace of mind. And I look for that in cities, like how easy is it for me to just go for a casual walk and have those decompressing moments, and Mexico City had exactly that. Yes. And for me, I love walkability because walking needs to have a purpose, like going to a restaurant, going to a grocery store, going to a final destination. I just can't do what Johnny does, which is just walking mindlessly. So it works for the both of us. We have thought about that a couple of times where I'm like, hey, I just want to go for a walk. She's like, where were you we walking to? And I'm like, I just want to go for a walk. I don't want to walk anywhere. I just want to walk. <laughs> That's what we fight about in this marriage. 
stuff like that. <laughs> but on to the next thing we love about Mexico City. Another thing we love that I think is needless to say is the food. The food here is incredible. I mean, the tacos are freaking the bomb. And there's a lot of other dishes that we that really enjoyed. That we've discovered, like yeah. playuras, mm -hmm. sopes. We are fans of tostadas now. I didn't know I was such a fan of tostadas until I came to Mexico. <laughs> yes, and I'm really having fun trying different sauces and spice levels. My tolerance to spice has really increased. And I'm just experiencing different flavors. Johnny is obviously in heaven. I love spicy food. He mm. loves spicy love food. <laughs> in addition to the food, we have really loved the people. Everyone has been very welcoming, very warm. I feel like I'm at home. Mm -hmm. I feel like I am received as one more Latina sister. <laughs> and yeah. It just feels really good. Yeah, for Latinos in the world, in the Latin American countries we've been to, I feel like in terms of niceness and and the invitation that they extend to you, it's a competition between Mexicans and Peruvians. They're yes. like the nicest freaking people that I've come to know in, in Latin America. We also love the affordability, especially for entertainment activities. We went to see one of my favorite Colombian artists in concert, and we only paid 60 bucks per person for the ticket. We had decent seats. It was a good venue. It was a good experience. Who was it? Elsa y el Mar. <laughs> we also went to see the symphony at Palacio de Bellas Artes, which is completely beautiful, and that only cost us $15 per person. So, magnificent. Affordability and cost of living. How much would it actually cost to live in Mexico City for people like us? So, I am a huge budget nerd. I track all our expenses. I've been doing it since 2018. I am a big nerd about this. So, I track every little incremental penny and cent and peso. So, here are the numbers. Here's what we spent on our accommodation $1,074 for an okay apartment on the Planta Baja level with like no view. And it was just an okay apartment with like a really tiny kitchen um, that we somehow managed. Uh, taxi rides, we took about 20 taxi rides or Uber rides and we spent $212 uh, for entertainment and tours and things of that nature. We did quite a lot. We spent $798, which we would not normally spend on a month to month basis. Um, groceries, we spent $443 eating out because we went to some places and spent like $100 in like one sitting, we did spend $773. Uh, some recreational activities such as going to the gym was $53, a phone service was $45. Um, so as you can see, the total we spent, if you add these up, is $3,400. So we really do think for people like us, finding a better accommodation, not doing so much eating out or activities, we could see ourselves easily spending about $3,000 per month to live in Mexico City. Safety. Just like any big city, we had a lot of warnings coming to Mexico City, being careful about our belongings. I was especially worried about my own safety because we just see a lot of news about crimes against women that take place here in the city. However, what we found was completely the opposite. The city feels extremely safe. We walked around with our phones, recording, looking at directions, looking at different things. And we felt like we could do that because everyone else was doing it. And it felt very safe to do so. Additionally, coming from Bogota, the vibe of the city is different. You don't feel like there are a bunch of motorcycles that are going to come and grab your stuff or take a gun at you <laughs> and it just feels like a different vibe like you can be a little more at ease because everyone else is also at ease so this was a very great surprise we felt very safe a lot of people that we have socialized with also mentioned the same however some of the locals do warn you hey still be very careful be aware of your surroundings. Things happen. Although we don't see them as often, we do hear stories, we see news. So be careful and take care of yourself. Food scene. The thing that I just cannot shut up about. I will eat food until the day I die. I promise you that. So there are three restaurants that we 
did go to and we still have three days left so there will be some other restaurants that we check out but these are the three that come up to mind that i thought were just incredibly delicious the first one was uh sencina 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 sencina, sencina. <laughs> it was a traditional mexican restaurant it had you know your your quesadillas your tacos Judas. it was delicious i thought they did a really really good job in executing mexican food we also went to some michelin distinction uh restaurants that had the bib gourmand uh symbol and that was tacos los alexis absolutely incredible and delicious i couldn't believe it and i'm like i see why they got the bib gourmand another bib gourmand one we went to that was not mexican food was a thai house which was galanga i got that right yes okay. <laughs> i've been saying the names wrong so galanga that was the best Thai food I've ever had. I love Thai food. I need to go to Thailand, um, but it is the best Thai food I've ever had in, in my entire life. Um, so I, I highly recommend any one of those three restaurants, but every other place we went to, like the local places like Flamita, even Oasis for the menu de Dia, was freaking delicious. Everything is delicious in Mexico. Like I, I cannot believe it. I, I literally am just in awe, in absolute awe of Mexico City. No, place is perfect. So we have some negatives. <laughs> Lo siento. <laughs> but the first one for me is obviously the smoke, the contamination. And although it doesn't feel bad on my nose, like I can breathe decently, I feel it a lot on my eyes. I suffer a lot with my eyes. I started having a lot of issues in Bogota because of the same reason, the air quality. Mm -hmm. And here it just got worse. And my eyes are constantly irritated. They are more dry than normal. And that's something that's, it's been hard for me to deal with. Yeah, we went to the Revolution Museum and on the top of it, I was like, just like I can't, I can't enjoy the view because I feel like there's just like particles and stuff <laughs> hitting my eyes. It was a very strange feeling. Yeah, it was also a windy day. Yeah, and we just kept feeling things on on our eyes. So I feel like I I have to protect my eyes a little more here. I've also like you know when something happens to you, you start to be more aware of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've also noticed a lot of people have like the regions like mine mm -hmm. here. So yeah, because it's, it's Whitney just recently about six months ago got one of those removed from her eyes. She had a surgery in Bogota to remove it. So it is a big concern and something we notice more and more as we go around places. Another negative for us is that the water doesn't seem to be super clean here. What what a surprise. I mean, it's a big city. Most big cities have kind of water contamination issues, uh, but I think it's well known across the city that the water is not very clean in Mexico City. So we've been buying the big five a uh, gallon jug of water for drinking water. Uh, we do have a filter that we've been using inside the apartment, um, but it just kind of made us like kind of eerie. Like, should we, you know, be brushing our teeth with this faucet water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was reading a lot of articles about the water issues that the city has been experiencing, especially this year with the lack of rain. There was a lot of um, water rationing. Um, so water was cut for a lot of colonies throughout this period of time. And also there are a lot of colonies that only have water like twice a week. And this has been happening for like the past 20 years. It's not something mm -hmm. new. It's something that the city really has to figure it out. And it's a big concern of us. It also is a concern for me, like how are we making the issue worse, you know? <laughs> like we're gonna live in one of the nicer colonies where the worry might not be as bad. Like we're going to have water because the people that live there have the money to continue to supply it. Supply yeah. it. But how are we affecting the rest of the population? Um, and so that's something that's always bothered me, you know, about it. The altruistic side of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but those are the only really two things we could really think of that would be concerning for us in Mexico City. Everything else was quite pleasant, actually. Yeah, we ended up loving this city. I feel at home here, and I feel like it's an upgrade to my home, to Bogota. <laughs> so I am extremely happy. I know you are very happy too. That, that is a strong statement for the record. <laughs> that is a very strong statement. Say, I, say that again. I love Bogota. I profess my love for Bogota. That's a place where I thrive, but I 
I've come to really love Mexico City. <laughs> no, me, me you no creo. <laughs> you no creo. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> Activities. We did a lot in Mexico City, going from walking tours to incredible things like riding a hot air balloon, going to the Lucha Libre, eating a whole lot of delicious food, tons of museums. We did so much. So we cannot break it down on this video because it will be too long. We will post all of these activities on next week's videos. So and stay tuned and, and wait for that. Let's answer the real question. Would we live in Mexico City? Yes! <laughs> Seriously, as a gringo who grew up in the suburbs of Dallas, Texas, I've always imagined that Mexico City must be this crazy, dangerous place with too many people, too much stuff going on. But after being here for an entire month, I must say that that opinion has totally changed. This place is way more chill than I expected, although it is a very large city. Uh, the weather is freaking perfection. The food is delicious. I don't have to own a car. You have to own a car in Dallas, Texas. There's no way you can survive in that place without one. Uh, here, you can just walk and walk and walk and walk uh, until you're just like, all right, I think I'm just done with walking. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's 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 a it's a clear yes for me. I, I told Johnny I feel like I'm betraying my Bogota because I truly do love my city. But like I said, this feels like an upgrade in terms specifically of safety. It feels like I could go uh, by myself to the grocery store on a walk to go see friends and feel a lot more comfortable. Yeah, and another thing that I found really enjoyable about being in Mexico, I mean, it's neighbors with the United States. So we were able to find products that we're used to in Latin America <laughs> that are Latin American brands and also U.S. brands. And so I'm like, why haven't I thought about this since the beginning? Like Mexico just may be a place that we should eventually call home. So it's worth learning a second language if you if Spanish is your second language, uh, you know, to go live somewhere else that excites you more, that makes you feel more at home. You know, it's weird to say that, like I feel more at home and more at ease and I like the Mexican people. You know, it's just I, I'm just shocked. I'm shocked by how much I love the city, actually. Yeah. And now you let us know, would yeah. you move here? And also the locals, you like living here. Yeah. Because, you know, I've never met anyone in Dallas, Texas that was like, hey, I'm from Mexico City. Never. <laughs> yeah. I can see why nobody, why would you want to leave this place? <laughs> this place is awesome. So I'm excited to see your comments, your thoughts. Yep. And we're going to see you in next week's video with all of the activities that we did here. We'll see you. Peace, love.